everyone. Welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on a really super cute and really easy uh, centerpiece idea. I mean, this could be used for weddings. It could be used for graduation parties. You, you could use it for pretty much anything, but it's very pretty, and I think it looks very glamorous, and it's just so simple and affordable to make. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's get started. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some of the adhesive diamond wrap. This I picked up at um, the dollar store, or Dollar Tree, rather. And it's a six inch by 10 inch sheet. Um, you can get them at Walmart, too, if they don't have them there. You need one of these little floral foams and whatever flowers that you wanna use. Um, I already have one put together here. I'm gonna show you guys just, you know, how simple it was that I made this one. And, um, I'm really not going to go into too much detail, I just wanted to go over this really pretty setup that I found. And I mean, you could set this up a million different ways if you wanted to. So you're going to need those things, and then I picked up two of the tea light holders. These are the smaller size that they have at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up one of the taller ones. And then the other thing I picked up was this 4x6, it's just one of those little plastic frames where a picture slides in and out and I actually went ahead and I printed out a little table setting card and then we're going to embellish that and this just looks so cute and it's just so simple and I love simple so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna I'll put the flowers together I mean you're just gonna need to take your floral little floral foam pick out whatever flowers you want and I just did a whole bunch of mi mixed match things here what I had left over whoops and I'm gonna break that and um, you know I just cut them off and I left about a, an inch inch and a half and you just stick them just keep sticking them all the way around and then up on the top and it makes a cute little ball <laughs> I've moved this thing around so much I'm knocking these little flowers off but um, yeah it's just that easy you know whatever color scheme you're using I've used this thing so many times I don't even want to stay in the there we go. And then that's it. You just make yourself a little ball of flowers. And then we're just going to take the big one, and then you can either use um, some E6000 on here if you want to, but I find that the hot glue will hold this little thing on here just fine. And I'm not really going to decorate this one up because you're not going to see it with all the flowers. So, I'll stick a bunch of that on there, and then just place this right in the center. And there you go. That is it for this flower part of this. Simple, easy, easy peasy. All right, and that looks just lovely just like that. So then I cut some strips of the diamond wrap. I um, did six rows for each one of these. <clears throat> and we're just gonna go ahead and um, place it right up around the rim. And hopefully I get this even. So it's as easy peasy as I say it is. And then we're just going to go around here and glue them on. And this stuff's so good to work with because, you know, if it, you don't get it quite right, you can peel it back a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't do it too many times. And just make sure before you put these on, you just want to rub it, you know, around the edges with, you know, like a paper towel with some... Uh, rubbing alcohol on it to get any of the oils off so it'll stick really good. So we already went ahead and did all that. All right. So now I'm going to cut that off. There, and that is all you're going to do for your candle holders. That is it. Like I said, I didn't get it perfect here, but you can move it, so it's not like if you make a little mistake, it's not the end of the world. So that is it for this piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one. Alright, come on, cooperate here. I actually pulled the tape off. There we go. All right. Let's 
See, and this stuff will bend really nice. It's not like the, the uh, diamond wrap that's on the rolls where it's really stiff and you really can't bend it to something that curves. This stuff works so much better because you can really make it form to, like, see, because this goes down a little bit. It's like a little bubble there, but it just folds right out. See how it ends up bubbling a little bit? But if you just push it around, it just forms right to your glass, unlike the rolls. They're real stiff. They don't want to fit on anything nice unless it's perfectly flat. Alright, so let me go ahead and cut this one off. And I have a little bit left over that I can use for something else. Oops. Stick that on here. Alright, so that is it for our candle holders. And then these lovely candle holders will go on each side of our beautiful flowers and then for our um, little table marker here I cut out four rows of the diamond wrap and we're just going to put this all the way around this frame real pretty I just saw a bunch of these different ones and different ones that I was looking at you know because I'm always cruising through Pinterest and stuff trying to get some more ideas. I mean, I don't like to copy anybody's stuff, but, it, you know, you get ideas. So I saw a few different things on a few different table settings, and I kind of liked a little bit from each one, but not the entire thing. So I just picked out what I thought was real pretty and turned it into one. And I don't know how, I don't go in and see how they make them or anything, because, you know, I don't want to be that person. I kind of have it in my own head how I want to make them. I need my little scissors. <clears throat> I hate those little ends that are on the diamond wrap. I hope I'm in here. I get involved doing stuff and I forget to make sure I'm in frame here in the camera. Alright, so there's the top. You know what, let me trim that up before I even put it on there. There we go. Now I'm just going to run this one along the bottom. There we go. And then we're gonna, oops, wrong scissors. Then we're just gonna run them up the sides. I think this just looked so pretty um, on a table. It's just very sparkly and, you know, it's just simple. Let me arrange my little table thing in here so it's more even. All right, so I'm just gonna match those up. out of here. There we go. Look how pretty that's coming out. I love this. I think this is so pretty. I mean, you could use this for a frame for anything, not just for a table setting, because it's just so stinking cute. Alright, so let me match up this side. You just want to make sure that you're lined up with your top row. I think actually I'm going to have to cut this one a little short. Alright, 
and there is your place setting card or table um, card. I think that's just super cute. So I'm going to get this all set up so it'll look real pretty on a nice, you know, little lacy tablecloth and whatnot, and light up our candles so you guys can see how pretty this will look all set up. All right, guys, there it is all lit up and set up pretty. I think this is just beautiful. It is just so stinking cute, and it's just so easy to make and very affordable. I mean, you could make a bunch of these in, like, no time flat, and you could use these for pretty much any occasion, even if you just wanted to remove your little um, table marker, or if it's, like, for an anniversary, you could put a cute picture in there or something. I mean, you could use these for all kinds of events. But I think these are really pretty for a wedding table. And I don't have a fancy table, so I'm just trying to make this look cute here on my craft table with my little tablecloth and whatnot. But yeah, I really like the way it turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's it for this time, guys. I hope you like this. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.